In this video, we're going to take a look at a particular part of the Ruby toolset, specifically the Ruby interpreter. Now, the Ruby interpreter exists depending on your system. On This is on a Mac system. Uh, let me CD in here. It exists in a particular directory, and it's a binary, as we see right here. Here it is, Ruby. Let me do a list long here and you'll see it's a binary. It's not all that large for as far as binaries these days. And what it actually does is take your script and execute it. It acts kind of like a compiler and a, almost an operating system at the same time. There's not many options for it. You, generally the way you use it, and we'll cover this in other videos on how to run programs, but you give it especially in Windows, uh, you'll you'll type in the Ruby name and then you'll go ahead and, and execute it. I can show you a quick example. I think I have a hello Ruby here, so if I type in Ruby hello.rb, that's typically how you're gonna use it. You've seen that before in other videos. If we type in Ruby and type in version, you'll see what version is. And there's a few other things that you can type. But if we type in Ruby help, you'll see all the command line options that it takes. And by and large, there's not a lot of things that you really have to deal with at this level uh, with Ruby, the, the actual interpreter. If anything, you're just doing the simple calls like I, I did here. There's some extra options there that you can certainly use to, to do whatever you need to do. But by and large, um, it's just access to actually execute your script and you're probably the most you'll use it is actually checking your version here where you're actually running it from the command line to do something with a particular flag on it. 